the stepmother is a 1972 suspense film directed and produced by Howard Avedis. Returning home late one night from a business trip to Mexico, architect Frank Delgado finds the car of wealthy client Alan Richmond in his driveway. Suspecting that his wife Margot and Richmond are having an affair, Frank attacks Richmond when he steps outside and strangles him to death. As part of a blackmail plot, a woman is forced to seduce her new husband's son. Complication including murder ensue. Channel Viajo Celebrity presents top 10 movies like The Stepmother. Number 10. The game is over. 1966. In Paris, Maxim visits his wealthy industrialist father, Alexander, and his beautiful young Canadian wife, Reni. Alexander fathered him years ago in a prior marriage and he has come to stay with them after studying in England. Renny tells Maxim that she married Alexander when she was pregnant following an unhappy love affair. The child was still born and the passion between the two has faded. They begin an affair and fall in love with each other. Renny, who came from a wealthy family, asks Alexander for a divorce. He agrees on the condition that she leaves the fortune she brought to their marriage invested in his business. Renny accepts this and goes to Switzerland for a divorce. But while she is away, Alexander confronts his son with two alternatives. He can either run off with now penniless Renny or become engaged to Anne. the daughter of a wealthy banker who support alexander needs for his business maxim agrees on the second course of action number 9 muher 1967 jos a mountain ranger in northern argentina meets and begin an affair with eva a beautiful but mysterious woman who is the mistress of simon a local gangster from a nearby village which complicate things more than Josh and Mario returns and also begins a romantic relationship with Eva which brings out jealousy in Josh Actress of the film Isabel Sarli was discovered by filmmaker Armando Bo and became the star of his films starting with El Truno Entre las Hojas in 1956 A romantic scene in this drama a first in Argentinian cinema and the subsequent movies were highly criticized and condemned in Argentina. In spite of censorship and persecution she became an international star. Filming in Brazil, Uruguay, Paraguay, Mexico, Panama and Venezuela and films like Fuego and Fibre reached the American and European markets. Number 8 Toda New Day Sera Castigada 1973 Herculeanum who belongs to a conservative family populated by talking and beatifying aunts is widowed and has a child to guard This son Sergino asks his father to swear never to marry again and Herculeanum takes the oath Patricio brother of Herculeanum indebted to women and gambling managed to introduce his brother to a prostitute for whom the protagonist falls madly in love she is jenny a woman who daily lives the agony and ecstasy of an obsession dying of breast cancer against everything and everyone herculeanum marries jenny and takes her to live with her in the family's big house there she meets sergino for whom she gets involved and falls in love. Sergino intend to end his father's marriage at all cost and despite his psycho tendency maintains an affair with his stepmother. Number 7. House on the Rocks 1974. Eleni, the wife of a very rich man, spent the summer on an island in the Aegean Sea doing archaeological research. One day her stepson comes to visit. The sea, the sun, the shepherd with ancient half lingual rites. A handsome youth, not yet an old woman, no one remembered what happened in ancient Greece. Bente Bosom, actress of the film, who plays Eleni, 
is a Norwegian actress, probably best known for her roles in the movies Moss Hush and Race Until Jealous Jarnan. Bosom had her debut in the movie Jack Tan in 1959 and worked at Oslo Nile Theatre from 1979. She retired from regular performance in 2005. Number 6 Ardent Summer 1973 Don Martin Sotomayor, owner of a large farm in southern Argentina, having witnessed a striptease of Barbara in the city and having fallen in love with her. He has her kidnapped by Juan and Berto. The two capture the woman, kills her husband Raul and embark on the long journey, during which Berto violates her. At the farm, Don Martin is a true tyrant who, weeping or killing, turns to his family and workers' wishes, forced to marry the ferocious master. She tries to conquer her stepson, but Berto is massacred and one is forced to flee wandering like a hunted beast, not being able to count on the workers. She ends up doing the revenge alone, kill her husband and his defenders, is finally reached by one. Number 5 Reflection of Light 1988 Abused and neglected by her wheelchair-bound husband, a devoted wife and stepmother begins an illicit affair with her husband's romantic living secretary. Federico Brandi is an accomplished composer still grieving the death of his first wife. Chiara was the love of Federico's life, and after marrying Marta, he begins to suspect that she only stay with him out of pity. As hard as Marta works to be a good wife and support Federico's son Marcelo, in realizing his dream of becoming a jockey. Her husband offers nothing but a heavy hand and venomous insult. Federico believes his son is a hopeless dreamer and his wife a filthy whore. When Federico's living secretary Georgia sees the way that Marta is treated, her attraction to her boss wife grows and the two women seek solace in a forbidden embrace. Love on a Horse, 1973 An urgent artist sees his younger wife and his son making love. Decide to paint such a beautiful scene on a canvas, especially with them riding her white stallion. The lovers can't know what the strange arrangement means and are afraid the painters suspect their relationship. When they try to leave the house, the painter's madness explodes and Greek tragedy settle on the family. Love on a Horse was directed by Vangelis Sernantaris. He started to study politics in Athens but he didn't take his diploma from university for political reasons. He has made 16 movies as an assistant director. His first movie was a Noah film which called Robbery in Athens a simply realistic story. In 1997, Made Vasiliki, the music of the movie made by the Nobel Prize Theodorakis and was nominated for Golden Globe, but they took his nomination back for political reasons. Phaedra 1962 the powerful Greek ship owner and constructor Thanos proposed to marry Phaedra during the baptism of a ship with her name. Phaedra, who is the daughter of Thanos' greatest competitor, is a bored woman. Thanos gives an expensive ring to Phaedra, and soon she learns that his estranged son from his first marriage, Alexis, has left the London School of Economics in London to dedicate himself to painting. Thanos asks Phaedra to travel to London to bring Alexis to meet him in Greece. When Phaedra meets Alexis, she falls in love with her stepson and seduces him. Their doomed love affair leads the family to a tragedy. Confession of a Frustrated Housewife, 1976 
Aging wife desperately wants to satisfy her husband, but he is losing interest and cheats. She seeks advice even from prostitute, but nothing helps. Tired from trying, she falls for her husband's son, who reciprocates. Antonio, a rich industrialist, married Laura, a beautiful young woman. When he can no longer satisfy her, a short-term relationship is born with her stepson Claudio. But it is enough to make her acquire the awareness of her personality and her rights. When Claudio leaves, she also leaves. Her husband searches for her, begs her to come back to him. The woman, who finally feels free, refuses. Antonio cannot accept the prospect of being alone forever and decide to kill her. Director Andrea Bianchi made an entertaining giallo strip nude for your killer and a minor cult horror item Night Hair Child. But apart from a rather unexpected ending and his usual political incorrectness, he doesn't add much panas to the matter of fact tale. Number 1 the Second Wife 1998 Summer of 1957 in Tuscany Fosco, a former partisan, now a merchant truck driver but also the head of a group of Tom Ruber's friend marries Anna, a beautiful Sicilian mother girl. The woman, at first uncomfortable in the face of her husband's experience, in contact with the others who work for Fosco and supported by her sister-in-law Fernanda takes courage begins to be more demanding towards her husband and to take the defense of Livio, his son, sigh and close boy on the verge of maturity. One day Fosco, while trying to sell an archaeological piece found secretly, is arrested and then sentenced to prison. In this period of his father's absence, Livio begins to attach himself to Anna, until unconscious passion explodes between the two. 